So this is the second review um, of of um, that I'm going to do here. We have in this one we're going to look at solving ODEs using Python and Excel. So here we have two ordinary differential equations. They're coupled equations. dv dt equals minus g plus v squared and dx dt equals v. The first thing that we have to do for this problem is recognize that we need to put it in a vector form. So we'll call our unknown y and then y0 will be v and y1 will be x and then it's a function of these rates and the first rate <clears throat> rate 0 will be minus um, g plus v squared where v again is y0 and the second rate uh, rate 1 is uh, v which is y0 so we show this here we're going to solve it to t equals 5 <clears throat> and then we'll plot up the results so we need some uh, functions we go from we go from ODE oops sci pi dot integrate import ODE int matplotlib inline import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt <coughs> and of course import numpy as np then we can go first thing to do is define the function rates and we pass in the vector of unknowns y and time and then we can go v equals y 0 for convenience and x equals y 1 and we have g equals 9.81 and then we can go dv dt equals minus g plus v times v and dx dt equals v and then we return the vector of rates np dot array dv dt dx dt and then for the ODE solver we need the rate function we need the initial conditions so y0 equals np dot array um, the initial condition <coughs> is 0 for both of those and then we need um, the times that we're going to solve it at times equals np dot lin space go from 0 to 5 with I don't know 50 okay and then we do and then we write the solver so y equals ODE int with the function rates and y0 and times okay and it ran so now let's plot it up plt.plot times comma y everything comma zero <clears throat> we'll do straight lines label equals v plt.plot times y the second column which is x label equals x plt dot x label time plt dot y label x comma v v comma x plt dot legend <coughs> loc equals dust so that's out of the way of the curve and there you go okay so that's kind of going through how to solve these ODEs let's go ahead and do the same problem in Excel okay so <coughs> in Excel we need to write this in we're going to use the explicit Euler method. So here we have, uh, and then we get to choose kind of what we want to do for a time step. So let's go from, uh, let's see, how long did we do this? T equals 5. So we can write some times here. T 
Okay, zero equals zero plus, let's make a dt, a delta time step. dt, and that can be maybe 0.2, or point, yeah, two is fine, equals the old time plus dt, dollar sign it, and then we pull it down until we hit five. Okay. <clears throat> now we need, uh, v, so it starts at zero, and x starts at zero. Now for these cells, we put in a formula. So this equals the old v plus delta t times the rate, which is minus 9.881 plus the old v times the old v. Okay, got that right. Yep, minus g plus v squared. Then for x, it's the old x plus delta t times the rate. And the rate is the old v. Okay, and then we can just drag these down, double click it, <coughs> and it didn't work. Probably because I didn't dollar sign dt. Dollar sign it. I think I did on this one. No, nope, I didn't on that one either. Dollar sign dt. Now when we drag it down, that's better. And then we can plot it up and see what we get. <clears throat> okay, and we get basically the same plot that we had in the Python. It goes down to about minus almost 15. Yep, minus about 15, and this levels out. And you'll get a better answer if you make dt uh, smaller. Okay, so that is it for solving the explicit Euler method in Excel and also using the built-in ODE integrator along with plotting the result.